Hello, and thank you for viewing. It's important that leaders be consistent in their actions. In this post, I'll explain the connection between our belief system, our intellectual nature or mind, and how we physically interact with the world around us. You'll see that our beliefs influence our mind, which provides the faith we need to perform in this material world. My earlier post identified the effects of positive and negative core beliefs. These beliefs influence our responses to life and either help or hinder us as we experience life's impartial events on a daily basis. Notice that the concepts of belief and faith relate to our immaterial nature. That is, we can't see, feel, or hear them, but they're recognizable just the same. Our beliefs are interconnected to our faith and our faith, being part of our intellectual nature, directs our physical body and its interactions with the world and people around us. Let me see if I can explain. Our physical body is a complex, finite organism. It's completely neutral and is easily influenced by the intellectual nature, henceforth called the mind, which consists of our subconscious and conscious mind, our will, desires, and emotions. Many call this our life force. Our brain functions as the CPU of the body and processes information either from our five senses or our mind. Based upon the input received, our brain initiates electrical signals that, by way of our central nervous system, causes physical responses in our bodies. It's important to note that our brain cannot differentiate between real or imagined input. For example, take a minute, close your eyes, and imagine biting into a sour lemon or taking a bite of your favorite food. In a few seconds, your body will respond as if the imagined food were actually present. This mind and body connection exists and is real. Our mind can make us sick or help keep us well. However, as we all know, everything in this physical universe rusts, grows old, and fades away. Our physical bodies are no exception. The point is that our body, being neutral, serves our purpose for a finite time. Our purpose during this time frame is whatever our mind tells us it is. If we believe that our purpose is to be a doctor, that our mind will create images to which our body will respond favorably. If we believe our purpose is to become a bodybuilder, then again, our mind will create images to which our body will seek to adhere to. The cool thing is, we can change our mind and purpose at any time. However, changing our purpose too often is not helpful and oftentimes leads to stress and confusion. If you're consistently struggling with your response to life, then I suggest that your mind and belief system may not be properly aligned. An aligned mind and belief system allowed you to respond to life in a synchronous and coherent manner which helps you to walk your talk. In summary, leaders are being watched and evaluated all the time. Effective leaders should lead in a purposeful, consistent, and coherent manner because their followers must be able to trust them and their responses to life. If you, as an individual or group, need help in creating this leadership style, then feel free to contact me and let's see what we can come up with. Thank you and God bless.